Find the turning points on the curve x squared plus 6xy plus y squared is equal to minus 24. So, turning points on a curve occur when dy by dx is equal to 0. So we take our implicit function x squared plus 6xy plus y squared is equal to minus 24. We're going to call that equation 1 to begin with. Differentiating implicitly, we're going to have ddx of x squared plus ddx of 6xy plus ddx of y squared is equal to ddx of minus 24. This is going to give 2x, and now we're here, we're going to have to use the product rule. So we're going to have 6x and y as separate terms. So, different, so we have 6x. The differential of y with respect to x becomes dy by dx plus y, and the differential of 6x becomes 6. The differential of this with respect to x becomes 2y dy by dx. And that's going to be equal to the differential minus 24, which is 0. Don't forget to differentiate the last term. That gives me 2x plus 6x dy by dx plus 6y plus 2y dy by dx is equal to 0. Now, because we're staying stationary points, we don't really need to make dy by dx the subject. What we know is that turning points occur when dy by dx is equal to 0. So we'll put this one equal to 0. And this one equal to 0, so we're going to have 2x plus 6x times 0 plus 6y time plus 2y times 0 is equal to 0. So that's just going to give that 2x plus 6y is equal to 0. I'll do that again. That will give that 2x is minus 6y and that x is equal to minus 3y. We'll call that equation 2. So we're now substitute equation 2 into equation 1, which was x squared plus 6xy plus y squared is equal to minus 24. So that's going to be, so instead of x, we've now got minus 3y, so it's minus 3, put it in brackets, all squared, plus 6 times minus 3y times y, plus y squared is equal to minus 24. So that's going to give 9y squared 6 times minus 3 times y is going to give minus 18y squared plus y squared is equal to minus 24. That's going to give uh, 9 minus 18 plus y1, which is going to be minus 8y squared is minus 24. y squared will be equal to 3. Therefore, y will be plus or minus root 3. Now, we should be working with thirds. So, when y is equal to minus root 3, x, so we're substituting into this, will be 3 times minus root 3. A minus times a minus makes a positive. So we get 3 root 3. And when y is equal to root 3, we get x is equal to minus 3 times root 3, which gives me minus 3 root 3. So the turning points are minus 3 root 3 root 3 and 3 root 3 minus root 3. Now we can look at this with a diagram here. So here's the curve. Okay, and we can see here we get uh, minus 3 uh, root 3, root 3. And here we get 3 root 3 minus root 3. These are turning points, but this will be a minimum point. The turning points where the curve tur turns. And this is also a turning point as well. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to use implicit differentiation to find turning points on a curve. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.